August 24th to 29th, 2014, experts, engineers and decision makers from around the world came together in Paris for the 45th Seagray Session, an international summit for the large power systems community. In other countries, uh, like in Japan, they have their own organization. In Brazil, there is a, a local organization. Uh, but I think what is uh, different from SIGRE is this multicultural and really global presence that brings people together from uh, all over the world and uh, in a very interesting kind of cooperation. SIGRE is mainly the top one uh, uh, exhibition. Uh, every two years in Paris, uh, you have to be there if you want to exist in this very competitive world of uh, energy, product and services. To meet uh, people in uh, electrical field, uh, constructors uh, and uh, also some partners and to discuss uh, about uh, our technical issues and uh, maybe uh, with the discussion we can find a solution and we can also meet some, some experts who can help us to, to solve our problems. By bringing together people, projects and technology, Seagray has gained a reputation as the best place to share and transmit high-level expertise. We have so many uh, expert working groups uh, happening at the same at the time. And so there's something like 230, 240 working groups which means you've got a depth of knowledge represented there, not just a few people presenting, but some real experts across a, a huge range of, across the whole power system areas. SIGRE has a lot of working groups involved and uh, they research on different topics. So whether you are into HVDC, whether you are into transformers, whether you are into switch gear, it is a very good opportunity to um, explore a wide range of um, challenges, opportunities involved in power industry. You can participate into working groups. In my case, I participate in a lot of working groups uh, and also you can present your papers. If you, if you have only one chance to go to one meeting a year, that's, that's the place to, to be. Well, I think because it's a big event and the topics are quite interesting, like for the Congress, for the sessions, and there are also different workshops and the exhibition, so you can meet your colleagues or you can meet your customers or any stakeholders that you've been working during the previous years and to stay updated. The 45th Seagray gave participants the opportunity to share knowledge, techniques and innovations while highlighting the changes and challenges facing today's world as well as the realities and demands of the future. Ah, Seagray, I, I believe, is becoming a more diverse organization, uh, whether, whether it be young professionals, uh, women, diversity from around the, the, the world, in addition, uh, the diversity of subject matter. So I think the, the future of Seagray is becoming more diverse and more integral to uh, the growth of power systems across the world. Yeah, Seagrid takes huge efforts to establish sustainable support for the next generation of young engineers which should be engaged in Seagrid working bodies. They should be able to contribute to the working bodies like a senior member. And so we are focused here to attract young members, to integrate young members into Seagrid and also to train them and include them. I would say that the Seagray is a little bit more practical. If you're looking for something that will be implemented in reality, I think Seagray is the best. So you have a chance to discuss with many experts, with the manufacturers. When, especially if you compare it to IEEE, I think it is a bit more academic. This is a great platform uh, to uh, expose our uh, products and uh, show to other uh, basically uh, experts in the field uh, what we have to offer and uh, especially it's a great platform also to, uh, for networking. A great collaborative environment where you can come and, and learn from companies all over the world. I think especially from Australia being a little bit isolated from the rest of the world, it's, it's a fantastic opportunity. Known for its independence and rigour, Seagray has become one of the few, if not only, forums bringing together all the industry's players. There are no better chance to meet many electrical engineers come from all, all over the world. Seagray in 
for that Sigur is the best conference. Everything that is new that is being done or is under development all over the world somehow ends up here or even start from here. It has an involvement of the whole industry, from the, the users to the TSOs to the suppliers. And everything is arranged by a neutral park, which makes everyone confident to come. And everybody wants to be here and show the new things that has happened in the last two years. As the flagship event of the most important international organization for large power systems, this Paris Biennial session showcased the depth of the worldwide network that Seagray has built up over the years. Seagray is, is just a wonderful opportunity to meet uh, experts from all over the world, to share experiences and to learn from others how they're dealing with those challenges that are facing the electricity sector today. We will have more interaction between transmission and distribution systems. It cannot be separated. We need to see uh, electricity systems of all voltage levels and we must include other forms of energy such as uh, gas, heat, in order to uh, prepare for an energy system of the future. Uh, I see this as the largest international event in the world that we go to. I have not missed an event in the last 14 years, and it was my honor at this session to give the keynote address that focused on the grid of the 21st century being more reliable, more resilient, and more controllable. So, save the date. Mark your calendars. Join us from August 21st to 26th, 2016 at the Palais de Congrès in Paris. Join us for Seagray's 46th Biennial Session to make sure the large power systems community keeps sharing ideas, communicating and moving forward.